Hey, Gareth, do you like games where you die a lot? Yeah. Great. Have a game of Shinobi. You'll love it. Are you one with the way of the warrior, Gareth Moore? Gareth Moore is one with the way of the warrior. I've always said that Gareth, Gareth kind of looks like a warrior to me. I'm not sure what type of warrior. My ninja training is complete. Let's go. I am looking forward to this. I mean, Shinobi is such a legendary game, and I don't think I've even... I can't even remember seeing any imagery of it. So uh, this is so brand spanking new to me. Your challenge, if you wish to accept it, Gareth Moore, is to die less completing level one than John did on Another World, and just less than I died trying to complete level one of Ghouls and Ghosts. Do you accept <laughs> this challenge? I do. Does this challenge self-destruct in five seconds? <laughs> if it wasn't Ghouls and Ghosts, then absolutely it would. <laughs> Randomly, for no apparent reason. Yeah. Then enter, I'm gonna... stranger. <laughs> I'm going to go. Are we ready? Do it. Right, I'm in. I can't remember what button I selected for each event. So, oh. Oh, that seemed all right. Yeah. I mean, great. Oh, the, the box is kill you. Oh, you sound surprised. <laughs> Is it a mage coming out of a box turning into a baby? Stop whinging. Somehow set this up. I have no idea. Well, I think that button's jump. Yep, that button's jump. That's shooty, shooty, shoots. I think the impressive thing so far is that you're you're kind of managing to kill everything, even though you don't know what you do. And I die. And dead. And there's health just there. Just to taunt you. Right, death one. <laughs> so this game's called Revenge of Shinobi. Um, what's he getting revenge for? Does anyone know? Um, death of his sister. What are they doing? They're just juggling. Let's <laughs> avoid them. Oh, what? Oh, Shinobis. They're probably not called Shinobis. It sounds like some kind of venereal disease, doesn't it? Oh, I've got a terrible case of the Shinobis. Shinobis? You don't want to catch Shinobis. Uh, I'm just trying to find the plot. So, uh, take, taking oh, place... Died again. Taking Dead. place three years after the first game, the criminal organisation Z from the original game has reformed and renamed themselves neo Z. They decide to have their revenge on uh, uh, Obro Ninja Clan and Joe Mashuri by killing his master and kidnapping Joe's bride, uh, Nakoto. So it's another situation where you're trying to uh, save your lady. I'm just pushing random buttons here, hoping for the best. Did a special move, you're, you're being electrocuted. This already seems a lot fairer than both Another World and Ghouls and Ghosts, to be fair. Oh, I died. You just died. Was there even an option to increase your number of lives or continue? I don't know. Or make it easier. Yeah, I had it on beginner there. We're not meant to give tips, are we, Jonathan? Uh, well, I kind of inadvertently gave, gave you tips for doors and codes, so I suppose. Well, you did hold out on the, by the way, a wizard can come out with a crate to turn into a baby. Oh, that, that uh, was it. I was about to say, oh, what, what the f <laughs> What? <laughs> That's because I had erased that from my mind, clearly. I didn't remember that at all. Oh, I died and again. And dead. Right, to be fair, this is actually rock solid, isn't it? Is my number of throwing things limited? It's right there next to the number that you're throwing things at the top. You've got 42. You find more throwing things in the crates and you just walk past them. Fucking dogs. If that explodes. Why are the dogs, dogs exploding? Well, to be fair, he's probably lucky that the dogs don't turn him into a baby. I would talk more, but... I'm a ninja. Stealth assassin. Exactly. Uh, to be fair, ninjas do all of their talking on the street. Oh, you mother people. Oh, health, health. It's close. Right, my work here is done, gentlemen. That's level one complete. No way. Uh, bye. It's not the end of the level. It's just the tricky part. Ah. <laughs> uh. Still the same level, it's just a scene transition.
Someone definitely, definitely spoke too soon. Oh, I don't like that. Ah! I can't even get up the bloody lift. Am I dead? And you get killed by a lift. How many ninjas can you get in the lift is where you needed to go. The answer is you never know because they're ninjas. Exactly. I think this lift might be my uh, undoing. Oh, oh, I was killed by the lift. That first scene, you've got to do three to get to level two. Oh, this dog's... Uh, is it just eating metal spikes? It's catching them in their, its teeth. So it was iron deficient. Oh, you need to get... Oh. Uh, health is just moments away. This game is proper chaos, isn't it? I think it's a little bit more organised than what Andy had to put up with. No. Yeah. yeah. I I proper like stress me out the randomness of ghosts. I love how you say that, but like literally when I played another world for the first time, the first thing I did was disappear down a plug hole. You've got the recorded fastest death. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I that's never that's never going to be beaten, is it? As, you know, all of these games, nobody's going to die quicker than I did in another world. <laughs> so, there was a, a, yeah, three seconds. Did you know that Japan does have the highest number of ninjas? But then how do they know that? <laughs> they're, they're not, the, they've got plenty of ninjas, but they're not particularly bright, so they filled in the, uh, they filled in the census. Oh, shit, I've ticked the ninja box again. <laughs> if I was a ninja, that's what I'd always do. People, I do a double flip first. I yeah, probably lift again. The, the average person wouldn't want, wouldn't know what to do with that situation, would they? I was wondering if Gareth's going to notice that you don't actually have to go in the house and go up the lift. Nope, died. <laughs> What's going on here? I can't do anything. Can I tell him, John? Yeah, go for it. There's the thing you need to stand on to open the door. Ah, uh, bloody doors. He's not there anymore. You can only find the uh, lift repair guy who needs to go and repair the lift and get rid of all the bamboo. You know, you'll probably be in a better better position. They've gone through ten lift repair guys, so they keep getting failed. <laughs> you should warn them before they go up the lift as what the problem is. Oh, it's saying go the other way now. Oh, I'm going that way now. I I'm jump is sure. an underground Shoot. thing going on. I'm not sure if we're getting further than I did on my quick go of this just to see how hard it was. Do I lose health if I hit that? Yes. I don't want to do that then, do I? You get splinters. A little cross brand with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, maybe. This way. No. Oh! Ooh. There you are. Nice. Oh, that's hard. Right, there we go. Oh, so that's not happening. So I go back this way. Yeah, then you go in underground to end up in that house. Watch the old bamboo. Is that from Mary Poppins? It should have been, if it wasn't. Dick Bang's out. Ninja. 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 Oh my god, I can't multitask. How do you... Is there a duck facility within this game? And by duck facility, I don't mean I want to turn into a duck. Try diagonal down, and left and right, see if he crawls on his knees. I don't think you're thinking this through properly, Gareth. If you could turn into a duck, you'd easily make it underneath those... Um, bamboo shoots. Why is it say Spider-Man? 1990 there. I think I started the game because I didn't continue quick enough. Oh, do I go down now? No. You can't, there's bamboo there. In another world, the most dangerous enemies were um, guys with huge laser cannons. In Gordon Ghosts, it was flaming snakes. 
and in Revenge of Shinobi, it's bamboo. <laughs> yeah. I'm you say this, John, but how many times did you die by the slugs with one tooth that scanned Oh, the yeah. They... That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. But then again, you were falling onto stalactites. Yes. Stalactites. Yeah, they probably killed me more than anything else, to be fair. And stalactites. And you were in pain with yourself on those. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know how hard I would need to ram myself into bamboo to injure myself. Oh, what? Why am I... Ah, uh, buttons. He buttons. Man. That's what I'm saying, buttons. You've got the power of grace gun. You've gone Super Saiyan. Is that door open now? No. No. You've got to go underground. Deeper underground. Yeah. Keep down. Imagine you're a Womble. Wombling free. Yeah. Nice. I'd say the time to practice the crawl is probably not while you've got infinite number of ninjas coming through a rotating door and the bamboo. They are coming at you thick and fast, though. They yeah. are. They are. Which actually got some element of dynamic play. Uh, that if you hold the jump button, you jump okay. for longer. Ah. Oh. No, no double jumps, though. Uh, no. If you push jump, you jump. If you hold jump, you do a higher jump. I think the major issue I'm having is I set up the controller completely wrong. Yeah, oh, now we're blaming the controller. Who would do that? I, I can't believe you would suggest that a Mega Drive game has got poor controls. I think it was just the way I set it up. And by set it just... up, I mean not have a clue how I was setting it up. <laughs> so basically, Garrett's kryptonite is bamboo. Your bamboo, your bamboo. <laughs> My kryptonite uh... is very fast growing grass. I want to see what the ghosty one is. Yeah, what what is the ghost thing? That's what I want to know. And the spontaneous combustion. Yeah. Is well, that the ghost? If we, if we can do ghost and vindaloo, that'd be great. Okay. Is that ghost? Yeah. Okay. You got vo ghost, vindaloo, and meteor strike. I, I think this is the. I'll wait till I've got some bad guys. Oh, that was ghost. Which one's Vindaloo then? You Johnny Cage, yeah. Yeah, the uh, oh. flaming, flaming fella. I think I might have run out of special ups. No, you should have two left. It might be until it runs out. Isn't it funny oh. with these games how none of them appear to have like friends? Friends. Yeah, it's like you know, my missus has been necked. Could you give me a helping hand? And everyone's yeah. like, No, you're all right. Yeah, just do it yourself, mate. <laughs> yeah, you clearly got this. At least in Streets of Rage, that was like friends. When? Tell me when. When there's baddies. When there's loads of baddies on the screen. Oh, I'll oh. tell you what, it seems to There you what go, man? go for it. Ooh, that's like a... A, a kill-all. I actually thought you'd, um, you'd killed yourself then. Yeah. For a minute. Yeah. It's a seppuku. What? I think it's, that's how you pronounce it. The Ritual Suicide Samurai. I'm not sure if ninjas do it. The Debowling. Ah, oh, the Debowling. Yes. You know, when, you, when you've got to line the, those numbers up in the right order. <laughs> right, this is the bit we got to before that I didn't understand. And even though I've been here before, I have a feeling I still don't fully understand. Oh, you hit him with them. I meant to, <laughs> but I, I, I'm not sure. Well, Double jump away. Ninja star on the ass, bro. Am I going down this time? Over that. So, over that, and then down, and then yes. basically just ninja star everyone to death. Yeah. How are you doing sword attacks? Ah! Jump, jump. Yeah. Ninja, 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 ninja. Jump, jump. Single jump. Ninja, ninja, ninja. Ninja, ninja. Ninja, ninja. That's all I know. Ninja, ninja, ninja. And that's what became Gangnam Style. 
Oh, oh what? Oh, oh that's harsh. I've got to be honest. I like the fact that modern games you can save at any point. Yeah, I was very grateful for my save point in Ghouls and Ghosts. It was good, wasn't it? It was after fifty-seven deaths, but yeah. I feel I... I'm getting there myself. Oh, what? Wow. Are you suffering from the? Um, is it the A button or whatever button you selected? It's like in Streets of Rage One where you don't want to press A because it brings in like the missile launcher or the grenade launcher and it kills everything on the screen. And um, for some reason, you know it's the A button. You know it'll do that, and every now and again, you accidentally just hit it. What it is is I've set it up so that what should be jump and then fire and then special should be at the top. I've got jump at the top, fire at the bottom, and special where it should be jump, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I'm going to jump, naturally hitting the button that I assume is the jump button, and then activating my special. So now you have to jump over that way. Uh, we're back to lifts. Now it's two lifts. Both with spiky spike in there. I have to be fair, this game is horrific. It may not be super doors and ghosts terrific, but it is pretty bloody bad. It just has no clues as to where exactly you need to go. Right, let's go. Oh, see now, now one spiky things are. Oh, hang on. Thing with this game over ghouls and goblins is, I feel that. With enough playtime, you can actually work out where everyone is because everyone seems to be in the same place at the same time. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So there we go. So this I know now. I'm not going to perform it well, but I know that there's that dude. There's a sword dude in a minute. There he is. So at least you can kind of plan your next move. So I'm taking hits there. Where, oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Is it one more continue or is that it? Is that game over? One more. Only must. There you go, Gareth. You've got to get through to the end of the level on this go. No pressure. I'll give it the utmost. I'll tell you what, I did, what I'll do. If you manage to get through this level, I will buy you your own piece of bamboo. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say. Uh, it touches me. Oh, bugger off with you. Yeah, that's the problem, Gareth. The bamboo keeps touching you. I know. <laughs> Have you been killed more times by bamboo than ninjas or samurai? Or the dogs? Or the I bikes? I yes. I believe the, uh, the old bamboo has been my downfall. Playing this though, this is definitely easier than Ghost of Goblins because I know right there, there, I duck down, they're gonna fire, duck, yeah. jump, jump, yeah, you can, you door. Can, you can create a plan, but if, if if it had a situation where you had ninjas that were generating an absolute random amount. Oh, it'd be a nightmare. This I can kind of predict. So now you're in the building, you've got to be right. Go right, Gareth. Right, right, go right, Gareth. Right, right, go right. Right. Uh, Let's just mark. Let's ooh, just mark a little wow. bit. Oh, no. Jeez. Come on, guys. You've got to be close now. Come on, guys. where I was before. Oh, exit. Wait. He's done it. Level one. Level one. I'll put the controller down. I'll take no. that. There's another bit. What? The oh, my God. It's a boss. Quick. Isn't he in um, Streets of Rage 3? I'm sure he is. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Game over. I'll take that. I got to the boss Continue battle. Continue and just see if you get to the boss. If it takes me to the boss, I'll give it a go. Uh, but you go straight for the special. No! It's like he just went with his sword and you're dead. Yeah. In honour of John. 
He also did it in the in the most sort of like fancy way you could ever imagine. I'm tapping. It's over. I got to the end of the level, boss. Um, definitely easier than Ghouls and Goblins. There was logic. I knew where baddies were. I think with time, I could learn to beat that level and have enough health to beat the boss. Not that I had a clue how to beat the boss. Still I probably really used his specials by then. Still outrageously hard, though. It, um... No, yeah, yeah. No, it was hard but fair. Whereas I believe Andy's level was hard but massively unfair. <laughs> so uh, I, I feel I, I, I got the, the uh, long straw rather than the short straw on that. Uh, yeah. <laughs>